been a minute since I did one of these where I take you with me picking through a house, but today I'm gonna do that. Show y'all around in this house that I'm gonna pick through. This is the house. It's in pretty rough shape. Looks like it's been abandoned. So a lot of people see videos of me picking through thrift stores, picking through antique stores. That's one piece of how I get stuff. But the main way that I get things is picking through a state similar to this, whether the people have moved out of the house, people have downsized or somebody may be deceased. Um, this is one of the main ways that I get to um, uh, curate my space and also find the more unique things that people see me post. So don't get it twisted. Everything I do ain't thrifting. I thrift for sport. Um, it's very relaxing, but this, this is where I really get into my, uh, my job. So let's go. It's more to know what you're going to find. So one of the things I'd like to do is start to kind of assess the entire area first before you start picking through stuff to see kind of what's going on in the house. I like those, it's pretty cool. Like the cats, I save plants too, if you can. Sometimes I save the plants. These guys don't look like they are savable. So, like I said, first things first is we want to assess the whole house. It sounds like they're doing a huge trash out downstairs, so we won't go down there, but we will look around up here. It's a damn shame. Damn shame. see all the rooms that we can pick through first. light back here so not to hear too much uh laundry house looks bigger than what it is so we'll start in the front room start here with the cats cats always sell always this one it's been repaired, you can see right there. So, I don't want that, I love this cabinet. I really love this cabinet, but it's not the right um, style for my shop, so I gotta pass on it. Those chairs have a mid-century like kind of vibe to them, but those don't. So, there's three, four, three or four, three that must match this table, but it's ripped. Yeah, seen better days. I really try to find my furniture in the best condition as possible. Can I refinish it? Can I redo things? Yes, but sometimes it's just not worth it. And this would be a situation where it's not worth it. It's a nice planter, it's Italian. I don't know for sure, but it's a nice planter. Or planters. That's called a drip glaze. You see how it's like running down the side. In the beginning, I saw this chair. I don't know what kind of condition it's in. So we're gonna take a look right now. It's a cool purse. Turn into women's clothing. I am not.
Right, so we need cushions. And then the wood's pretty rough. And we need new straps. This would be one that I would buy to um, redo. Because I do see that this one would be potentially worth redoing. Right now I'm just checking all the structure of it. You can see they already kind of tried to reinforce it there. And back there also. It's worth fixing though. Add it to the to the projects. I try not to leave chairs behind. No chairs should be left behind. They're too hard to come by. And let me clarify when I say no chair should be left behind. Like make sure that it's still gotta be worth it. So I guess some chairs can be left behind. Because if they ain't worthy enough to restore, don't waste your money. Oh, there's two of those. I like getting things in pairs. I like that. A lot of brass stuff. Whoa. I'm over here just tearing up stuff. This is kind of unique. Made in the USA, US pattern. I like the base on here. The base leads me to believe it's older than what it's like, what it looks like. I like that piece. We'll take a chance on that. Just an ashtray. What else is up here? in the pile. These are cool. They're just really tiny, right? Made in Japan. They're not very thick material. So I pretty much went through a good chunk of this room. Well, the whole room. Picked out anything that I was interested in and started to make my pile over there. So now we're going to move into the kitchen. See what we can see. Mm -hmm. Nothing good in there. Nothing. Nothing. Keep looking. the rest of those glasses from the other side. Nothing. Nothing. Some accomplished stuff up there. Nothing I really want though. Lusterware back there. Yeah, no. Nope. Amazes me. Oh, it's a nice bowl. But it's cracked. Would have been a nice bowl. What's this back here? I would only want this if it had an advertisement on it. I would only want it if it had an advertisement, but no advertisement. It's crazy how many houses have triple beam scales in them. Makes you wonder what everybody was doing in the 70s. I did see this little sofa here, but that leg back there is of concern. Because this is the kind of sofa that it's only sitting on the little bitty legs. 
I'm gonna have to examine it closer to see what kind of condition it's in. So we got it kind of stripped down, took all the cushions off. I wanted to see condition of the foam and I would probably refoam this whole thing. Um, so that's a couple hundred dollars that I would have to stick into it. And then let's pick it up and see what the, uh, see what the structure looks like under. So looking at the bottom of it, I don't know if you can see because it's kind of dark in here, but it's been, it's already been repaired on both sides. Um, so as bad as I hate to leave it, it's not something that I want to really mess around with because I don't have a workshop anymore to repair this. And I did see from the back, even coming in here, that there was an issue with that back leg. And that's because they've already tried to repair it. And you can see like how wobbly it is already. It's only standing on these little bitty legs. And that's why these day beds have to be a little bit more sturdy. So unfortunately, I got to pass on it. I hate to leave it. I hate to leave it because that's my job to rescue this stuff. But sometimes the squeeze ain't worth it. I scanned this entire bookcase looking for anything of interest that would work for my shop or could go on my website. I don't see anything here here for me. Although these dressers would be awesome to um, also refinish, kind of similar to this situation, um, they're not gonna be worth it to put the time and effort into them. So although they got a good look, it's just not cool enough um, for me to stick a ton of effort and time in, into them. I will take that though. Zodiac stuff always sells. Something came out of here. Water. Smell like vinegar. It's vinegar. How do you feel about that one? I like that one too. The one back there. Like it, but look at that. Made in China. No, no, no. Last piece of the puzzle is getting all this shit from point A to point B. Get it all loaded up. And back to the city. So I'm about 35 minutes out of Milwaukee. I'll go wherever the deals are, wherever people call me to come pick. I'll go. My mission statement for my company is we find a vintage that makes your house a home. And sometimes it puts me in the middle of nowhere, but it's a job and I love it. I truly do love it. Can't wait to bring that back to life. I have to do a good before and after video for that one. Thanks for joining me y'all. Hit that subscribe button.